So before you start watching this video, I just want to let you know that this is not the typical happy travel vlog. It is more kind of an educational, historical kind of exploration of Nazi Germany. As you can hear, I'm already a little bit shaken up because I have been here now for maybe an hour or so and um, it's heavy. It's really, really heavy, but it's also really interesting and uh, yeah, so just to let you know, just to give you a heads up, I uh, don't want to burden you with any heaviness or depressive content, but yeah, I'm here today and I really wanted to explore this. So if you're interested in the history of this concentration camp in Sachsenhausen, which is near Berlin, um, please continue to watch this video. travel friends it is Sunday today and we are heading to Sachsenhausen to see the concentration camp it's around one hour and 15 minutes with the train and walking yeah more or less yeah more or less it's about 30 kilometers from uh, Berlin so yeah we're gonna go there now and see yeah see what we can find and uh, it is a beautiful day today. The sun is shining, the sky is blue, we got coffee. We are starting to wake up. <laughs> so yes, let's go. So we arrived in Oranienburg and um, I think we probably just missed our bus so we're gonna walk and it's gonna take us about half an hour maybe 20 to 30 minutes 15 15 it's okay. gonna get shorter Five. no we, run. not with our luck <laughs> so it's gonna take us about 20 to 30 minutes to get there and um, we're still not sure if we're gonna do a tour or just explore ourselves but it might be interesting to get some background information so yeah Let's go and it's so hot already, very hot and we're walking and uh, yes, walking again, once again, a lot, a lot, a lot. By the way, if you haven't seen last week's video, we did a walking tour through Berlin and then we had one of the most delicious burgers and it's supposedly a very famous burger place in Berlin, it's called Burgermeister and uh, yeah, so if you haven't seen that one yet, go check it out at the end of this video, at the end, watch this first or just pause it but don't leave me all right guys while we're walking to the place i'm gonna give you some background information which i'm gonna admit i got of wikipedia because i'm sorry but i don't know everything so sachsenhausen was a nazi concentration camp which primarily had political inmates and it was active from 1936 to 1945 and they had about 200,000 prisoners there in the facilities so guys, you have two different possibilities. You can get a tour guide uh, in different languages or you can get the audio guide with this thing and you have different numbers all over the place and then you can just press the number and then listen to the stories and the background information. But you, the, the lady actually told me you don't really need the audio guide because wherever you go, you actually have uh, videos and written information. So it's basically up to you. The audio guide costs three euros. So yeah, we're gonna go for a walk now and and explore the whole area. So when the prisoners had to walk all the way to this concentration camp, there were even women and children standing on the side of the road and throwing stones at them and screaming Nazi paroles at them. Which I cannot even begin to explain how sick that makes me that even children were already involved in that kind of behavior. <laughs> Prisoners weren't allowed to step on this area. It was called the death zone 
and if a prisoner were to step on it even if it was like by coincidence the soldiers uh, could shoot them with any warning the soldier who shot the prisoner got a reward in terms of money and a special holiday because apparently that was something that they were proud of killing people and um, if you look at these fences back here they were uh, high voltage fences and sometimes the prisoners just ran into these fences because they couldn't just stand it anymore and just wanted to die and escape this horrible situation. The medical center was where injured and sick prisoners had to go to and often that was a very horrible thing because they also tested out different drugs on them and um, they didn't have any painkillers or morphine or anything so it was often a very horrible experience going to this medical center was often something prisoners didn't even want to even if they were sick or injured because they knew that what awaits them might be even worse i'm having real trouble I cannot even describe how that makes me feel to think what they did to these people. And children. All these things you can see, that was actually all full of buildings. Alright guys, sorry for the wind, it's a bit windy. So what you can see down here is um, the place where they used to shoot people. They would be executed here. So after they have been shot, they would have been burnt and then the ashes would be in this field. And the horrible thing is that the prisoners had to actually take away the bodies and bring away the ashes, often of people they knew and maybe even family members. So here in this little green forest park is, um, are all the memorials of the people who were killed here and as you can see they all look a little bit different so why they all look different is because they wanted to represent the diversity and the different backgrounds and stories and nationalities and all these different people who were imprisoned here So there is a quote here from Sui Steinitz who was from Israel and he says after the liberation and so I was free, so spontaneously, I was suddenly free. I still felt like a prisoner, though it's impossible to grasp that you are suddenly free. After six years of, as a prisoner, you just don't know what to do with your freedom. So guys, I found Hello again. We were both exploring on our own a little bit. And now we're gonna have a cup of coffee or something cold to drink. And uh, I think that was one of the most emotionally draining experiences I've ever had. <laughs> it's interesting and it's good, but I think... Uh, yeah, it's a difficult visit. Yeah. It's quite difficult and as our guide told us yesterday, don't leave it for the last day in Berlin or in Ger um, Germany, because it's going to be your... The thing you're going to remember, so yeah. it's better to go and party before leaving Germany. Maybe. Yeah, to leave your trip on a positive note. All right, guys, our tour is coming to an end. We spent quite a while here. I don't know how many hours, actually. Uh, many. Many hours. Many, many hours. And it was really impressive, and I definitely recommend you, when you come to Berlin, just hop on, <laughs> just hop on a train and come here, and it's... It's a day trip basically because it takes you quite a lot of time to get around the whole facility because it's really big and there are so many things to see as well. Plus the wind is really bad so maybe you cannot even hear me. We're gonna head back to the city now. I think we're gonna be up for graffitis and beer. 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 Yeah. And beer and cold beer. Yes. And when, when you get, I don't know, bottle of beer, more beer. What? All right, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this, even though it was a little bit heavier than my usual videos. I'm going to end the video now. The day is not over yet, but I'm going to 
do the second part of our day in a separate video because it's gonna be completely different vibes and I don't wanna mix it together. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video guys, don't forget that there is wind. So much wind. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a nice comment down below. Subscribe to this crazy guy. And yes, I'm gonna see you soon with a new video. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Goodbye, goodbye.